everybody should receive one model like this. Three unit bridge. We have a circular shoulder on the central and the final margin with with zirconium on the on the canine. I don't mind. I have a colored frame. You see that almost in compared to a white one, it's a big difference. But this colored frame not prevent you not to using a kind of a bonder, a bond liner. So you still have to use, because the colored frame not automatically you have the bond, the bond strengths there. So you still have to apply Inova, for example, number five. So painting, you do sin and you see immediately the change. You see? Immediately you have to change. In compared to the to the prefabricated colored frame. And you can individualize you look, I can do approximal darker just with one one move. It's so easy. And so quick, and not need any space. For baking, almost, you need almost very minimal drying time. Yes? One minute, it's enough. So I start with the porcelain margin. Porcelain margin is 22 and 23. I continue with the with the margin using twenty two, twenty three. Depending on the color you want to work with. to 
make a, a white tooth with natural uh, translucency most as possible because translucency and white that is opposite so it's difficult to get both but it's possible sometimes I don't know why sometimes it works in my case and sometimes not just maybe I'm sometimes have more luck and sometimes a little bit less then of course the lateral something in between central and, and, and canine so the canine become maybe a light canine maybe a A2, A3 I would say even when I do light uh, shades very light shades much lighter than B1 I think so I try to go into that when we have a white frame a white dentine a white enamel and everything white that looks after in the, in the end looks like a cheese it is no uh, have not a natural appearance impossible so you, you need we need working with chroma also we need a kind of a contrast so I starting we have this not very wide frame underneath it helps me to keep the depth in uh, my crown I using this uh, aqua line more than maybe two years around so we starting on the neck A1 a1 is, in my opinion, that's not good. a dark color. I mix this A1 with PSO. PSO, for those people, they not knowing creation. PSO is, is an enamel with opalescence and milky white. So 50-50. A1. So, it's an A1 with PSO half and half. So, for the basal to the to the pontic. I use a little bit of patient stenting just to stop darkness OD. from the tissue. The question is 43 and 32? 32. Yeah. Straight half and half. Mm, a little bit and less. 32. Based on 32, yes. Proximal with bending A2. That's bending A2 and proximal? So normally we are not using anymore. I come back to when I build, I'm not using anymore opacious dentine approximal and also the approximal dentine. So I'm using more light translucent material approximal. I explain that after. We keep in the A1 range for the lateral two. A1 denting? Cervical, so it gives automatically. Then PSO a1 and PSO, same thing.
It's like a sketch for like wax up or something like this. Just it's a little bit under contoured at the moment. The canine higher value, more opaque. Opacity forty three. So we look for translucency, yes? In the anteriors and the canine can be more chromatical. Dent in A2 on the customer. So now powder is starting to dry out, so I access that to the this paper band. Just to keep them moisture also here. SO2 59 SO2 SO2 is uh, a kind of um, enamel with opalescence in a orange uh, way. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. PSO. PS zero in the corners. That's a mixture of uh, PS zero and instant eleven. White. This white. White, yes. is not on the model. So now I'm, I have a kind of uh, under contoured central, yes. I try to play my, my like on a canvas, my shade, different shades. So I have horizontal, very intense, white stain, 43 PSO. <coughs> that is the layer on top. We make another layer the same way. Irregular. And normally, if I have these stripes, horizontal stripes, you can see, you, you see this most of the time, I think, so when we, when you are finished with your crown, we have very strong horizontal stripes. Okay, what I do, I go very intense underneath, and I go, I smooth them up quasi again with PSO. That's only enamel, you know? So that means also that PSO contents also translucency. So it's a white, white enamel. And then we go on top to lower this this um, high value 
area with the different uh, translucency. Can be orange, can be, of course, uh, opal always works very well when the underground comes white. It opal doesn't work this well in dark color because the opal, opal is sense get killed by too much um, metal oxide uh, stain color. The Mamelon I use in general the 63. Mixed, always some little dentin. I could take more. Do I need more. The mummy ones are make in MI sixty three, the mixture yeah. A three. Those of you who don't use creation. So we. We place the, the mamelon. That's a depend depending how how strong you want to have them. You have uh, two ways to make them very discreet: is you mix them with dentin down value and chroma, or you put them very underneath and on top a lot of enamel and this kind of thing so it also makes them very smooth. Mesial Mamelon. This time, this different characterization on the incisor that's up to your decision. Just it's let go your. Your fantasy, play with your fantasy. So in Nova number one, helps me to make the Mamelon a kind of pink, you know, sometimes young. He's showing this wonderful pink, very tender, make weaker with the on, only enamel. So it is not transparent, it's translucent. So make them softer. Enamel 59, overlay on top of mamelon. So the chroma, I try always to make my own mixture, that means HT, a little bit of dentin, then 12 and 14, and I just mix that together and have a look how, how it shows, you know, how it come out here. Mixture of A3, HD, 53, 54, and little Innova Instant number Instant 12 and 14. 12 and 14. So, so far, I just mixed this together, but now I depend well, what coming out, what I indicate is I use a lot 
or do I lose on the, uh, use only a little bit? So that makes the difference, you know? So I use not too much because I don't want, look, some grains only to just very little. So we go on top. Sometimes also we can use some gra grains, little little pieces of HD. So just to give them some chroma. S O ten opal translucency O T. clear together each one third clear and I side two that means very translucent SI two Thin wash of PS0. So the images here I hire with this intense mixture of 43 stains and PSO. Highlighting the contour, go on top PSO, make just like a frame from high value, it's HD 53 it's and 4, 54, 53 and 54. So I always look for for a kind of uh, depth first. Translucency. I just complete with different enamels by my labial contour, translucency, always again lighting up and cover with translucency. I think so, honestly, I work like this. When one layer need not function, I come grind down to the next layer and that maybe it's the color what I want. So I, I try, in one way I try to make Two layers, maybe two and a half layers, they promise something and then uh, after I grind I see which one I take. Lateral. Always working with contrast, with different endings, even 
of the lateral to make to match better to the neighbor in this case to the canine again adding enamel 59 SI2 59 okay, SI2 The alternation was 59 and SI2 on the lateral So we place again Mamelon kind of softly that's Mamelon 63. 63. And you make closer. Mixed with A3 denting powder. We place a kind of illusion here to make a lower value below the mamelon. Be careful with the illusion, please. So enamel on top to the mamelon. Enamel 59, covering the mamelons. Translucency, SO and SO10 OT and clear. It's a mixture of SO10, OT and clear, that's a translucency. Yeah. Light spots again, intense. Cover with PSO. PSO alone is not strong enough, it's not intense enough, so we push underneath the value. PS0, OD43, and the white stain it was just to intensify the white spot and covered with PS0. Hello? Hello effect with, uh, what is it, dentin? It, uh, dentin and uh, PSO. Uh, dentin yeah. and PSO A1. So we go to the K9. That's a little wash of uh, dentin A1 and PS0. That's still dentin A1, PS0, support the contour. Thickness, measure, try to go not less than 0 0.7. That's a minimum, yes? Yeah. 0 0.7 millimeter of dentin, min minimum. Then uh, enamel. 59, enamel. Distal. Mesial and distal. SI02 SI2 59 SI02 Incisal frame SI2 and 59 Segmental builder
make a wash. Like a mamelon is very soft, canine is kind of very soft. Character of a mamelon, so. In, in Nova number one. Yes. It's the same <coughs> mammal mixture. Yeah. Very thin, washed, soft wood. With 59 in Sazel overlay. Enamel. Enamel. SI or two. SI two. Fifty fifty SI or two and clear. Half and half. SI two and clear. Translucency SO10. For those they are not your, uh, knowing uh, creation, SO10 is a bluish translucency. And I add some opal and, uh, translucency to neutralize the blue of the 10, of the SO10. And I need a more translucency. For for these two, two, so I add some clear on, so it's very simple to understand. So the mixture was SI10, OT, and CLO to contour uh, the Casper with little PS0 around the neck and the belly. That's SI10, OT, and clear again. So palatinal, we start, we go palatinal in with 60, 63, but very thin, huh? On the lingual, it's make in 63, very thin. You know, like little, little tongues. Yeah, the make in was diluted with 83 dentin. It's a mixture of uh, HD 54 and 53, and what was the stain? Uh, 12 and 14. 12 and 14. Hello. The hello effect, which is A1 and PS0. Yeah. We keep them uh, light. Keep the hello light. Little HD. A two, A two on the limbo inside one. S uh, two.
complete just shape approximately we try to fix the contact in the first peg. Is that in A3, in the proximal? Dentin? Dentin A2. Dentin A2 underneath the ponte? A2, still A2. SI2. SI2. PS0. HD5354. SI2, PS0, Dentin A3, A2, Cutting all the way through, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cut all the way through for shrinkage. That's what my question. That's side two. Some comments uh, for uh, those people, they are not have experience with uh, zirconium. So the most how they realize zirconium shrinks a little bit more than, than uh, the classic. But what I want to show you, you can come close. Be carefully when you work on zirconium, not touching with the disc, the frame. And you cannot control that, actually. And even when you, when you have people employed, for example, and they don't spend attention on that, you cannot repair that anymore. So then you ask, of course, how I can grind. It's better you grind with this kind of a carborundum disc, and I'm working on something, so I try to have the mesial contact, I, the basal, the pontic, and the distal contact, and the legs. That's what I look, achieve on the first peg. So because I not make my correction on the model, never. So I keep, uh, so you know, I have the contour almost almost right you know the the contour on labial is almost there so it's easy just to correct uh, free hand approximal high chroma uh, this uh, uh, no, this is uh, dentin. A3. A3. Uh, dentin A3 in the proximal. Fourteen, uh, twelve and fourteen. Stain number twelve and fourteen mixed with HD. 
depending now you see what what you which kind of a value or which kind of a chroma you have so the correction what I do now is almost uh, the mixture of SO10 OT and clear this is my basic correction on the labial side I don't want change much so with that because I have a kind of a high value central if I want to keep that I using also PSO. If I want to reduce that, I use only this translucency. SO, SO10, OT and clear. Jump little little chroma. Just a few grains only. Change a lot. So if I need this mixture a little bit more orange, of course we just put some uh, HT54 and 53 together. This is still SO10, OT and clear? Yes, a little bit more clear on this, this side. Here. A little bit more clear on that mixture? Yeah, just contouring. I want to keep the translucency on the incisor. It's still the same mixture, SO10, yeah. OT and clear. Work on a mesial contact. Dentin A2. Cervical approximal. I'm not using two translucent material because uh, it's neat to be stable in value, so we cannot use two translucent. SI2, corner. So we have in this area now <coughs> quite chromatic approximal, so we build the ridge, the distal ridge, palatinal ridge. SI2. SI2, I like this. Uh, Enable a lot. SO10. SO10. HD with stain. Contic addition with uh, dentin A3. A3 contic addition. That was HD with stain in proximal. SI2 HD with stain SI2 PS0 SI2 HD with stain SO with OT OT yeah SO10 OT and clear mixture HD with stain SO10 OT and clear mixture PS0 with white. With dentin. With dentin. PS0 with dentin. 
SO10, OT and clear mixture, HD with stain, PS0 with dentin, HD5354 mixed with SO10, OT and clear mixture, HD5354. HD with stain. HD with stain. SI2. PS0. HD with stain. SI2 HD Dentin A3 PS0 <coughs> SO10 OT clear PS0 with dentin? Uh, yes. Yeah. PS0 with dentin? Thank you.
I just uh, put some glaze liquid on top to see to see the the color better with vacuum vacuum uh, uh, baked. Still, I using glaze powder. Glaze powder makes this this uh, combination what I ate the last on a little bit finer and also melting smoother. That was a Dentin A1 with the glaze powder in sizal corner and the interproximal was HD with a little stain. Just the glaze powder mixture was about 20% the more glaze powder you put, the lower it melts. So, you know, it's up to you, but 20% is probably good. Actually, I do this way also correction. I make my own correction powder. HT with stain. A1 with glaze. HT with stain. You have any possibility how you want to correct. SI2 to correct the shape. No hair dryer or stuff like that. Disturb me too much noise and too complicated. Just a surface thing, instant. Baking, baking temperature is on the on the lower temperature in the correct. Maybe we can um, glaze them in the correction temperature. That means in my furnace uh, seven ninety.